the real appeal for me, I think, is the um, emotions, the, the communications between yourself and the animals. Something you develop from early as when they're a pup and they fit in your forearm to the day that you, you're there when they pass on. So it's a, they're your kids, they're your family. And um, that to me is the most, is, is one of the neatest things other than just the sport itself, of course, riding on the back of the sled and kind of cowboying it out there, running around and having fun. Um, that's really the, the appeal to most people, but as you do it years and years and years, it's not just the, on the back of the sled, it's really a lot about the uh, relationships between you and your dogs. Dog sled racing, a test of the strength, endurance, and courage of both mushers and their teams facing some of the toughest conditions the wilderness can dish out. Perhaps the best known race is the famous Iditarod held each year in Alaska, but before competitors can enter, they must qualify elsewhere. This January, a dozen teams from across the continent will test themselves on a lonely 220-mile trek through three national forests in the shadow of majestic Mount Shasta. Patrick, tell me about the bond that forms between musher and team. Do you want to see me cry? <laughs> no. Um, it, it is special. It, it, it's, you know, you, like I said earlier, they're your kids. Um, and, and to see, like in this race in particular, that effort, um, you, you just don't, I don't know how to explain it. it it's, it's, uh, there's times I'm writing a story about it and it amazes me how I'm comparing my lead dog's end of it from my end of it. We both uh, have a, a, a point of view from the lead dog and mine. And it's very similar. We're both thinking of the same things throughout the race. Of course, you're thinking about the trail and what's up ahead of you all the time. You're constantly aware of the trail conditions, um, what they're going through so that you can learn how to pace your team. You can uh, lose on a distance race. You can lose that race in the first 50 miles by not running them, by letting them just get out there because they're so amped up and ready to go. I really believe that the dogs um, experience many of the feelings that you do during the race. They're so human. Um, they experience being tired. They, their moods get down. But then at the same time, their moods go up and down just right along with yours. When you get into that good section of trail after you've been on a punchy trail, it's, it's, you just see them perk up. And so it's, it, it's a very, very unique situation and relationship that distance measures have. It's a weekend of family-friendly fun in this pristine backcountry where you can imagine yourself being transported back in time to pay tribute to the early explorers who blazed the trail through an unforgiving frozen landscape. The distance teams come from as far away as California and New York to take part in this, California's only Iditarod qualifying race. In addition to the 220-mile main event, dog teams of various sizes will compete in sprint and mid-distance races, as well as the crowd-pleasing sport of ski joring. When you see the, the families' faces out there, the, the, the parents with their kids, and you're headed out on that starting line and everybody's reaching out to take pictures. Um, it's a very special deal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. People don't realize the beauty in this county. And that is a resource that I think for this county to be um, looking at in the future, that is our natural resource. To put on a race like this, um, it isn't just, oh, let's go out there and show up and we'll have some people there holding the dogs at the beginning. It's a major deal to put on a distance race. We're the only race on the whole West Coast that puts on a distance race and sprint races. 
and there's only a couple in the whole country that even attempt that. So that is that says something about the people here in the county. We have another natural resource here. We got good people in this county, and. Um, we had uh, ham operators out here supporting us to make sure that if something happens on the trail. We had uh, search and rescue out here doing um, winter training in conjunction with us, so it gives them an opportunity to practice their skills. Putting these races on takes support from more than 100 dedicated volunteers, as well as sponsorship from the community and community-minded businesses and agencies. Come, be a part of the adventure. The 2010 races run January 22nd through the 24th. To find out more, visit siskiusleddograces.net. Distance mushers are a little bit on the borderline crazy. You have to be to be able to strap yourself onto a dog team. Yeah!